In this video, I started out with $0 in a truck and spent the last two years building the farm to where it is today. So we're back again for season three to see if we can expand the farm even more. So if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop in a like helps too. Anyway, let's go do some farming. Well, boys, it's another early morning out here on the farm. We got $6,011 in the bank account. So we're sitting just a little bit low at the moment here. But that's all about to change because the crops are just about ready to go. Both fields, hopefully sooner than later, we also have a crowd crap ton of baling to do we have a lot of bales to pick up here it's it's really a never-ending process here on the farm but we've got some more hay raking to do so we better get to that but before we're gonna head out there we're actually gonna head over to the neighbor's property now uh he came over here the other day and was asking me if i would be interested in some work in trade for a machine and uh essentially paying off the rest of the equipment that I have from him, which I, I believe I have a combine from him. Now, over the spring, we did plant one of his fields to uh, soybeans here, which we're going to harvest for him and uh, give him the grain in payment for some stuff. But he asked me the other day if I'd be interested in tearing down this old shed, all this old fencing, cutting down a couple trees, because he's going to be building a big new shop here. Kind of wants to make this his new yard or a storage yard or whatever. And uh, he said in the back here, which I never noticed this before, but there's an old skitter sitting back here. Hasn't ran and I don't even know how long i'll have to ask him how long but this thing is old rusty dusty and everything above and he said uh if i clean out all this junk over here because he doesn't really have the time for it oh yeah he's got a bale spear here anyway he said if i clean out everything here he'd be happy to have the equipment paid off and he'd give me this skitter in return now uh who knows how long it's been since this thing's ran but we'll come back to that later because we have to uh get some hang done before it rains which there's rain in the forecast so we better get it to it so essentially i'm buying an old skitter with my work that's more of a trade but i guess you could say i bought it anyway we ran the tether over a bit of this hay here we still have a little bit left so we're gonna get to that our tractor's just sitting down here the cattle should be good on feed they still got some grass i think they still got some feed in their trough there so we should be all right to leave them for another day or so but there is is a lot of hay here which means a lot of money but we're also about one hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt that's not ideal also another thing i didn't think about with that neighbor's property is when he wants us to cut down the trees if he lets us keep them that could actually be some decent money because i have a couple trees that i could cut down on my property but i kind of want to still have some trees in my yard but we get to keep those trees that could be a pretty decent payday at the sawmill there they're still paying a lot for trees nowadays i believe the price has went down a little bit but uh you know what I'm not going to complain with any extra money. We can use all the help we can get. Well, this should be the last bit right here. All right, so all the hay is now tetted here, so we should be able to bale it all up now, which will be nice. I'm not even sure how many bales we're going to get off of this. Probably a lot, I'd say. Regardless, though, we have to uh, get these other bales picked up because I worked out a deal with another neighbor to trade some regular hay bales for some silage bales. So we need some for the cattle. We're gonna get those traded and I think we're gonna sell the rest. And then maybe, just maybe we can pull off a second cut on this. I'm not too sure yet. I had to make a quick run back over to the cattle farm here. Uh, I had to grab my tractor because those bales on the other field are a little too heavy for the skid steer. It might be able to handle them, but uh, lifting them all the way up to that truck there is a bit much. And at least with this one, we can uh, grab two at a time, which is nice. Well, there's two, only eight more to go. Okay, so. We have 11 bales loaded up. I know I said 10, but we're bringing 11. Evens out the load a bit more. Anyway, we're going to get these over to the neighbors and uh, hopefully do a little bit of a trade. Get ourselves some silage bales. Well, boys, as you can see, I got the uh, silage bales, but I also have a different trailer. Bit of a funny situation. Uh, my neighbor was actually looking for a deck over trailer, which is what I have. It's a bumper pull. That's exactly what he was looking for. And he was looking to get rid of his gooseneck as well. Now, since my trailer is a lot newer and this one's a lot older, they were about similar value considering this one's a, a full three axle gooseneck. And we ended up making a trade. So I got my bales and I got a new trailer. I guess it worked out perfect for the both of us. Now, I have needed a gooseneck trailer forever now, so I'm pretty happy about this. Anyways, we traded 11 hay bales for 11 silage bales, which I am very happy about. I will not complain. At any rate, we should be able to haul a lot more bales with this thing than we could with the old trailer. We can go six double rows long and then stack another six on top. So that should be just about 18 on the trailer, and then we should be able to fit another two on the front. So that should come out to about 20. But we'll get these suckers unloaded and then... Uh, on to some baling. With all of our silage bales now acquired for the rest of the year, we headed back out to the field and loaded up our remaining bales. With the remaining bales now cleared off the field, we headed back into town to hopefully recoup some of our costs. But the bales now sold and netted us a cool $4,000. And sure enough, as we got back to the farm, it was milk truck day, so we got them all loaded up in hopes for some more money. But unfortunately, milk prices were down, so that only netted us $219. 
but we didn't have much time to whine over low milk prices because rain was in the forecast and we had a lot of hay to bale. After checking the baler over to make sure it was running good, we got to work. Making bale, after bale, after bale, and then some more bales after that. This was going to be a long process. Well, everything's going pretty good here so far. I've just been uh, cleaning up a lot of the edges. We've still got a couple big stretches to do down there, but uh, not too, too much left. I'd say we're about, uh, I don't know, 75% done, but we are getting a crap ton of bales here, so there's going to be a lot to pick up. At any rate, all this hay is super thick, so I ain't complaining. More bales equals more money, which we need a lot of right now. And there is the last of it finished, this field at least. We're done. I think just in this one part, there's going to be like 20, maybe more. I think that's it at least. I sure hope so. I'll just do a quick drive around the field to make sure there's no other parts that I missed. All right, yeah, looks good. I think we're done. Okay, so with that out of the way, we're going to rip this thing back to the farm. I'll give it a quick wash off because we won't need to use it until probably later in the fall when we do the last cut on that one field there that's if we do one it depends if it grows back good enough okay so i got all the equipment back to the farm here all the stuff that we need at least now the only thing other than picking up all the bales that's the next big project here is the uh crops but those will be a little bit longer yet so in the meantime here i think we're gonna go work on the property the neighbor's property that is and get everything we need to do they're done now i'm gonna need the skitter that's down there running to uh work on that property so we're gonna swap this trailer over to the truck and uh maybe try to get that thing out of there and get it running also i'm gonna have to return that rake sooner than later can't leave that sitting there gotta go back to the neighbor's place dang this trailer works good with this truck by the way it's also a john deere trailer i'm not sure if john deere ever made trailers but uh yeah apparently we have one let me know down in the comments if john deere ever made a gooseneck trailer i'm not entirely sure if they did or not so i've got a gas can full of diesel in the truck a couple new batteries some ether whatever we might need to try get this skitter running okay so i've spent the last about hour working on this thing it is in very very rough shape i mean as you can see it's all rusted to crap i replaced uh two fuel lines because they were toast uh, there was a bunch of junk in the fuel tank, so I had to flush that out. I put some new diesel in there. I put a brand new battery in, cleaned out all the mouse nests out of everywhere. And this thing should, in theory, run again with a lot of ether. Also, I may have to replace some hydraulic lines. Those are looking a little worse for wear. Now, the winch, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work, but uh, we'll give it a shot later on. But let's see if she'll run. close a little more ether yep 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 she's going holy smokes boys it's running let's try lift the blade oh man that those hydraulics are so slow all right if i kick it into drive oh easy now Ooh, this thing's jumpy hey gotta take it easy oh boy i'm leaking hydraulic fluid all over the place this is not ideal also if it stalls out on me right now that would not be great lower the blade there she goes perfect it's on the trailer. That's all I needed. Let's hope the Ford can actually get out of here with this thing. Holy smokes, boys. We got her out of the bush. It only took about an hour and a half, but it is now running. Somewhat. We've still got to go back to the shop, replace a couple hydraulic lines, make sure all the rams are good, check if the winch works. There's still a lot to do on this thing. And then we've got to do all the work on that property yet. But the truck is definitely loaded down here. It's not liking this. Look at the amount of coal we're rolling out of this thing. Oh, man. It is rolling it all the way up here. All right. Let's hope she starts again. We can actually get her off the trailer here. Oh, easy. Now just that really, really slow hydraulics. May need a new hydraulic pump. I'm just letting her roll down here in neutral. All right, we're good. And down you go. Okay, well, I'm going to check this thing over. See what we all need to do to it. Maybe order some new parts. Well, boys, it's late afternoon, and I just ordered $500 in parts here for the skitter. Just a couple little things to replace, and then she should be good to go. May need new tires eventually. These things are crap. And then eventually, maybe a new paint job. And then if I don't need it, I'll sell it. But in order to actually own this thing fully, we got to do some more work. But for now, just got to wait until the parts get here, and then we should be up and rolling. But I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe, and goodbye.